How's it going guys? It's Mr. Lone Wolf and uh, I just want to talk about this uh, Battle Pass thing that they've released the Season 1. It's a bit disappointing, I've got to be honest, for a couple of reasons that I'll uh, show you now. If you go on to the actual Battle Pass itself, uh, obviously as you can see there, there's like a green box above the first thing that says free. And basically you can only get 20 of the uh, 100 items unless you pay a th at least a thousand for the Battle Pass. So you have to pay a thousand COD points, or if you're even more stupid really, you could pay 2,400 COD points. It's pretty bad that they say it's discounted from 4,000. And all you get is the exact same thing, it's just you unlock the first 20 tiers for free. Or like instantly. And they do take a bit of grinding as well. You'll have to do about two tiers a day to get to the 100 by the time uh, the event's over. So as you can see, most of them are just obviously behind padlocks. I can get that gun, but then like that's unlocked even though I've actually got to level 4 by now. Uh, I can't unlock that knife. I can't, basically, you just get left loads of the shit stuff. And if you look here, I'm just going through the stuff. There's cod points, but the rest is like stickers. That charm's all right, but stickers. That's a weapon, calling card, emblem or something, another emblem. Cod point. You get about 200 worth cod points. But as you can see, it's just all the shit ones. Yet all the ones with padlocks behind them are like operator suits, fucking blueprints for guns, double XP, all that sort of shit. So anyone with a green box above is what I would get at the minute because I haven't paid for the battle pass yet and yeah I just think that's really fair because what like there's a lot of not just kids but teenagers there's all sorts of people who play this game who don't really want to be banging a load more money on it who probably haven't even got a card set up to put some money on it and uh, yeah so you only get left with 20 unless you pay for the battle pass it also says there like that's an operator skin it doesn't actually specifically say you unlock her there, but if you go through to your uh, operators and go into Coalition, she's called Mara, if you see in sort of the top right, it says to unlock her by purchasing uh, Season 1 of the Battle Pass. So you can't get this new person unless you pay at least a thousand uh, COD points. And then the next problem is the shop. It actually works a bit weirdly, there's like the end boxes, the COD points, but these first three boxes they say like featured, operators and identity and blueprints. And if you see you can press L2 and R2, so there's actually five uh, different things in each section. Most people probably think there's only those three. But if you go into the first one, the Huntsman, it's pretty good. I've seen the person wearing that Agent Orange thing. The only thing is it stands out for campers. So a lot of people obviously camping in this game, even people who have bought it, will stop wearing it soon because you just stand out like a sore thumb. Which is good for me, I like it, but uh, I can see a lot of other people not liking it. And then these are weapon blueprints. Okay, you get to skip straight to some of the attachments, but they're only weapon blueprints. And then the rest is just like charms and stickers. And they want 1800 COD points for effectively one set of clothes and a few weapon blueprints that you've already got the weapons, it's just a certain setup. But if you press L uh, R2, you can see it skips along. It doesn't skip along the boxes at the bottom, it just skips along again. You've got this one for 1500. You get two weapon blueprints. That is a different type of knife. It does look pretty cool, but again, it's, what is it, 1500 COD points they want for it, which is ridiculous. Press L t uh, R2 again, and then you go to blue steel. This one's cheaper, it's 500, but all you get is a watch, and then some stickers and emblems. So that should be more like 100. Then you got this one, the Reaper, that's a thousand, and all it is is two weapon blueprints, a charm on your gun, and like a sticker and an emblem. The emblem does look pretty cool. If that, again, was like 200, I'd probably consider it. Uh, the next one, the Unseen, it's a, a camo thing, a bit like a ghillie suit. It does look pretty cool, but for 1400 COD points, it's a fucking ripoff. Um, you got the weapon blueprints, charms and stickers, and then you got his saying, he says, and a finishing move, which again, yeah, cool, but... 1400 that's way too dear it should be more like 300 cod points so go along to the middle box and again click on that and you can press r2 and l2 500 points it's a watch and some stickers and charms so again pretty basically a watch which for 500 cod points they're about five quid like that's too much money Go across one to Night Stalker. See, what this doesn't tell you, it costs 1,500 points, but the first outfit, the Huntress, is for that new character, Mara. So unless you actually buy the Battle Pass, you could end up buying this to get that suit, which is the main thing that you get in for 1,500, and then you won't even be able to wear it because it's for 
the new character. So even though this says 1500, you've got to add it like 2500 because you'd have to buy the battle pass. And then you get a saying and a finisher move. So again, yeah, alright, but not for 1500, it's not. It should be more like 500 absolute max. And that's. You should get her for that for 500, not just a character. Along to the next one, another 1500, you get an operator suit thing, uh, a light machine gun blueprint, some charms and stickers, and then another Saiyan and a finisher move. But again, it's 1500 fucking points. Like, I got 3000 odd free with the game. I'd be skint buying two of these things if that. Another 1800 points, operator suit thing, looks pretty <laughs> cool, is in like a hood. Um, sorry about that cough, that must have been when I was actually watching it. Uh, yeah, blueprints, you get a different knife, looks pretty cool, but again, it's only a, like just a different, oh, well, it's only a different camo knife really, and then you get a saying and a finishing move, and that's 1800 COD points. So the last one on this one, Lone Marauder, got a Reaper Operator skin, so I've got a Balaclava on, looks pretty cool, uh, a blueprint for the AK, a slightly different looking knife, and then again some charms and a finishing move and that. Which again, cool, but 1500 COD points, way too dear, should be more like two or 300. Uh, along to the last box, this one I quite like, but it's 1500 fucking points again. Area 51 blueprint, pretty cool looking gun uh, blueprint, a gold bar charm and a sticker. Sticker I don't give a fuck about. Again, if that was like 200, 300 max, I might consider it, but not at that price. Go along again, fire claw, this one's a thousand cod points, all it is is one camo for a gun. You get that little flame charm, I quite like that, that's pretty cool, it reminds me of that little flame boy thing, but again for a thousand cod points, no way, I'll pay like 200 max. Next one, battle hardened, two gun blueprints, uh, a little tank charm and then a sticker and a calling card, whatever, no one really gives a shit about them anyway. Uh, 1500 COD points though for two blueprints, they're not even guns, they're just setups for guns and a little fucking tank charm. Uh, L2 again, uh, R2 sorry, I keep fucking saying the wrong one. Uh, Lone Star, you get a blueprint for a marksman rifle, blueprint for a shotgun, blueprint for a handgun, a little cowboy boot weapon charm, and then a flag, oh, as I can't even see it because it shrinks the screen, an emblem I think. Uh, but again, 1300 points for three blueprints, they're not even guns, they're just a setup that you could theoretically do yourself. This last one, 1100 points, you get a, uh, two blueprints for some handguns, a horseshoe, lucky horseshoe charm and some sticker shit. So if you actually go and add them all up, oh God, this is going to be hard because I can't see it from here, that was like 1500, 1500, that's like 3000. Uh, 3,500, 4,500, 5,900, uh, 6,400, 7,900, 7, I can't, they're tiny at the minute, 8,400, 10,400, I can't see what the next number is, about 11,000, 14,000, I think that's 15, 16,000, Seventeen and a half thousand. Eighteen is that a three or a five? Say nineteen thousand, twenty thousand, including that. I added it all up before. It was about nineteen thousand four hundred, but then twenty thousand four hundred because you have to buy the battle pass to use some of those things you can buy. And if you actually go into the COD store, you'd have to buy this top one, which is thirteen thousand COD points. That's eighty-five quid. That's how much the entire premium version of the game fucking cost and then you'd have to get this second one as well because that third one 5,000 wouldn't get enough so you'd have to buy these top two and that's 65 say so that's like 150 quid in cod points they hope slash expect we spend just to get everything I went through in the store which is essentially what 10 or 15 blueprints of weapons 5 or 10 outfits and a few sayings and some stickers and shit so uh, yeah, like you say, there's a thousand you've got to pay for the battle pass. There's one redeeming feature for the battle pass, is if you look here, there's one, two, three, four, five. Each one of these is a hundred cod points, six. And if you buy seven, the battle pass, eight, for a thousand cod points, nine. You can actually, if you've got time to grind through, it's ten, eleven, twelve. 
13. If you've got time to grind through, you can actually earn 1,300 COD points back. And as you can see at this moment, I only just worked that out myself, all my things are still locked. If you can actually get to level 74, that'll be the 1,000 COD points. So if you know you can grind to level 74, then if you have a 1,000 COD points, it probably is worth your while to buy the battle pass and then just earn the COD points back. But I still think, I'm not happy about it still, because there's a lot of people who just won't have the details on their computer to be able to put a 1,000 on to win a 1,000 back. And it's a little bit like gambling again. They're just trying to find any way. What I think they're doing is kids and whatever end up saying mum dad put a thousand on because i can win them back and then the kid will end up spending them in the shop between season one and two and then need another thousand so i just unlocked the battle pass because i realized i can earn the cod points back as you see it just suddenly unlocked the first four items because i had actually already unlocked them but it doesn't give you them until you pay which is uh yeah, just a bit of a joke, really. I just think it's a bit greedy of them. Like, I already paid fucking 75 or 85 quid for the game, and then now they want me to spend 150 fucking quid for some outfits. So anyway, here she is. I've unlocked her operation, uh, not operation, uh, operator. Mara, her name is. I think she got a nice ass. That helps. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Like, a desert work thing she's wearing. I assume that's like that first thing I unlocked when I bought it. And then, uh, finishing move chest pains i did the fucking finishing move and it glitched it so i'll keep trying to get that but yeah like i say she looks pretty cool i'm like fair enough it's another cool character to have i've been running around with her for a bit to be honest i'll probably go back to the ghillie suit guy pretty soon and that's about it this little page just says about the battle pass which you can actually again it's the it shrinks the screen down when i'm recording my voice so it's fucking tiny now but it essentially says battle pass is live but the way they word it is a bit filthy because it says play your way through a hundred um, tiers and then it says free weapons XP tokens but then at the bottom it says purchase a battle pass uh, to get access to all hundred which is like so at the top when you say in battle your way through a hundred or whatever it's like it's not true unless you spend money so anyway I think it's a bit of a joke but that's what it is hope you've enjoyed thanks for watching and I'll be back soon